In the realm of the automobile, there are a few cars that I would consider iconic. One of them is the BMW 2002. This is the car that predates the BMW 3 Series. So as legendary as the 3 Series is, this came before it. It's part of BMW's new class. Cars with a double zero at the end were sedans. The coupes got an O2. This is the 2002, and it's the best-selling new class car they made. They made almost 900,000 of these, which is pretty amazing. Now, this specific car was built by Clarion for its Clarion Builds program. This is the first one they built, and they did one hell of a job on it. This isn't just a slap it together restoration. They took body panels off. You can't do frame off on this car, but they did body off. It has a new trunk, a new hood, new doors. They went all out on this thing. The good thing is though, they didn't resto mod it. They restored it and then upgraded it as they saw fit, fitting in with the period and the history of this car. The engine, that's the famous BMW M10 engine, inline two liter engine. It's been upgraded. When the 2002 first came out, it had a single carburetor. If you jumped up and because you were a baller, you got the 2002 Ti, it had a dual carburetor set up. This car is a 1974 2002. So with the single carb setup it originally came with, that means it made just over 100 horsepower, right about 101 to be exact. This doesn't have that. This has a dual Weber carburetor setup. It's got a really cool looking K&N air filter with a classic logo on the box. The engine looks gorgeous. It also sounds great. Classic BMW motoring. That noise is just wonderful. Now from there, it's wearing BBS basket weave wheels that look perfect. Those wheels on a BMW are a match made in heaven. They've also upgraded the suspension, sway bars, new coilovers, tons of stuff going on to make this more fun to drive. It's still an old car though. The shifter on this car is appropriately BMW 2002 vague. The clutch pickup is high, but once you're rolling, this thing is awesome. The brakes are excellent. The steering, no power steering, and it feels good like an old car should. There's a lot to love here. Now, besides the driving, the BMW 2002 is such an iconic shape. It was boxy, it's flat, and the way BMW achieved that look in the front is they actually canted the engine over 30 degrees so they could have the exact body line that they wanted. That noise doesn't get old. So we're tootling around Signal Hill in Southern California. This is a great spot because you actually get a good view of the area of Long Beach and LA into the distance and the Long Beach airport's behind me somewhere. There's a pyramid around here. Long Beach is over there. The ocean's over there. You can't see it because you're looking at me. As I tell you about this delightful machine. Now, since it is a Clarion car, it does have obviously an upgraded sound system. They've fitted a double din screen right here and it looks fine it looks great uh, some people say don't hack them up this is a car built for clarion by clarion so of course they're going to put that in they've got great speakers hidden in it the kick panels are located and recessed perfectly so they're not into the cabin space in the back there's still room in the trunk it's very usable the system is hidden well but also sounds awesome obviously i can't play it for you because then i have to pay for music one of these days i'll download uh, a royalty-free YouTube song and pump it through the system. That day is not today. This is such a sweet old machine. Old cars just rule. And when they're in really good shape like this, man, it just, everything clicks and comes together perfectly. Now, one of the fun things about this car relates to a different version of the 2002. BMW made the 2002 Turbo. And that was producing, I believe, around 170 horsepower. They're hoping that this car makes around that to the wheels with all the engine upgrades they've done. And again, those upgrades look perfect. They look period correct. They are what you would have done back in the day to make this cool. And it goes a long way to keeping the character of this car still as it was. They didn't add power steering because it doesn't need it. It's super light. It's fun without it. The brakes work great. The suspension's awesome. This car's super sorted. This is how you do it. Now, sadly, for the folks at Clarion who do get to drive this thing, it's heading to auction. It'll be at Barrett in Florida, and all the proceeds are going to charity, which means this is probably gonna fetch a good amount of dough, as charity cars are wont to do. 
and rightfully so. Someone else out there will pay a good amount of money to give to a charity, and then they're putting this in their garage. Win-win, folks. That's what's going on. Another great touch that they did with this, a true Nardi wooden wheel and a Nardi shift knob. Oh, this makes you feel like you're back in time when you grab one of these wheels on a car like this. Just such a wonderful machine. This harkens back to when BMW was still BMW. I give the brand a lot of crap for what they're doing with their current lineup, but then you drive a car like this and remember where they came from, and hopefully some of this DNA still exists. The M2 is out, there's uh, the M4, there's a couple other cars out there, but none of them are as, as capturing of the soul of the brand as this one is. California sprawling out behind me, maybe. You know, I, I have an old car. Obviously, you guys know that. I have my truck, but it's it's and there, it's cool in a different way than this. This is cool, classically German, wonderful. This is this harkens back to when BMW was still BMW. 